fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with two exciting sneak peeks for you from Bella Art Diamonds. So they sent me these two sneak peeks. I'm excited to see what's in these boxes and they also sent a bunch of little items in a small little haul. So I'm going to unbox those too because Bella Art Diamonds is also the same people that run Bella Art Day Nicole. I really like their trays. I've bought their 2.0 trays before, so I'm hoping that's what this one is. And I'm not sure what all these other things are. We'll open up them and look at them. And then I think also I'm going to include, this is not something they sent me, it's something I purchased, but it is their little funnel that I will be using to kit up some stuff. We'll kind of do a little haul at the end of all of these little things. And first we'll unbox the diamond painting. So I've got two different ones and I've got, this one is a little bit smaller. So I think I'm gonna start with the big one, cause why not? So you can see this is their new packaging. They finally gotten through all the old Mary's diamonds cause that's the company they bought. Now it's got their Bella Art branding on it. It's got their little diamond on here. It's got instructions on the back and then more of their little color logo over here. So let me get everything out of the box and let's look and see what we got. All right, so those of you who don't know, Bella Art also includes their little just basic tray in their kits. So we've got a little tray and then I'm gonna unroll this. We'll look at the canvas and we'll see the drills and what else is in the toolkit. Be right back. Okay, so we've got our stickers here. We've got our drills. As you can see, this is a square kit. Looks like there's some ABs in there. We'll look at those in just a minute. Set the stickers aside and we've got our tool kit. So we've got our little Bella tray. Let's see what comes in the tool kit itself. So in addition to our tray, we've got tweezers, nice and pokey tweezers. Those are always nice. We've got three plates of blue wax. We've got our diamond painting pen with a three placer attached. And then we also have a six and a nine placer included. We've got our little diamond painting scrunchie, and we've got some very nice little black and white chevron washi tape. So a nice little tool kit. And again, I appreciate these longer ones that are longer than the size of the pen so that things don't poke out the bottom because they're so shoved in there. All right, and then let's look at our sticker sheet. So what we have is this cute diamond painting called Witch and Magic Book by Yaroslava Guskova. Guskova, I'm not sure how you say that, but it's this cute little witch with all the butterflies around her and her magic book. Got a little key there on her collar with the bow. This is 55 by 55, as you can see, square drills. We've got 56 colors and it looks like we've got interesting. Okay, so one, two, we've got four ABs. But then we've got these called YG. So is this a special drill kit as well? I'm curious to see what's in there. So 56 colors, pre-cut stickers, so that'll make it easy to kit up. I'm really excited about this one. I don't know how much black is gonna be in the background. They not That may not be as much fun, but it's a really cute painting. I like on the front of the book too, there's like a little cat's eye on the front of the book. Super cute, oh and her eyelashes. Her hair looks like it might be some confetti, so that'll be a nice mix. So let me grab the canvas and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so even at this is 55 by 55, I can't get the whole thing on my table, but I will take some B-roll so you guys can see. It does look like there's going to be quite a bit of multi-placing out here on the sides, in the background, and the rest where she is and everything else will be lots and lots of confetti. So we do have a schematic on both sides and this one is upside down. Again, something I appreciate because I am one of those people who turns my canvas every which way when I am working on it. So I appreciate having that. So we've got their logo up here. We've got their hashtag. If you wanna share any pictures or anything as you're doing their kits, their two websites, and then down here at the bottom, we've got, again, their logo. We've got the information on the kit, Witch and Magic Book, title of the artist and the size in both centimeters and inches along with the thumbnail. 
And then over here, we've got all of their socials. Super cute kit. Okay, so it's supposed to be 55 by 55. Let's measure and see what it measures. So it is maybe two millimeters under 55. And this way, this way it's more like 54 and a half centimeters. So pretty close for the drill field. All right, I'm super curious, just kind of looking at the drill field here, I'm super curious about not only where all these ABs go, but what all these YG drills are. Because it's got YG one, two, four, five. Is that something special for this particular artist? It is in the butterfly. I wonder if they're like glow in the dark or AB or something. There's some ABs here and in her hair, I can tell. All right, let me just get the drills out and we'll look at the drills and we'll see what we get. Don't go anywhere. All right, so I've got all the drills out. I've set aside the ABs and the other ones. We'll look at those last. So let's just go through here and see what we've got. We've got a light purple, black, that's actually less black than I was expecting for as much as I thought there would be on the background. So maybe we're gonna run into a lot of dark blues. So speaking of, there's a dark blue, another dark blue, a dark purple, a purple, ooh. And then we've got three bags of this dark blue. So I'm gonna guess that's one of the background colors. And then we've got another light purple, a dark purple, kind of a dusky pink, a magenta, a pale green, a peach color, another dark blue. Then we have another blue, a lighter blue, a light blue. This is kind of a turquoise blue, a very pale baby pink. Then we've got two bags of 823, another dark blue, another bl dark blue, a pink, a magenta, a slate blue. And then we've got two bags of 939, another dark blue. We've got a bright pink, a green, a pale green, kind of a salmon color, a mulberry, like a blush rose pink, a pink, a dark mauve. We've got a light blue. We've got another light blue, slightly darker blue, a peach. And then we've got an orange, another kind of mulberry color, like a watermelon, dull turquoise, a yellow, a purple, a light purple, and a blue. Those are all the regular colors. There are 45 of those. So let me get all of these put back in the bag and then we'll look at what these YG drills are and look at the ABs. Don't go anywhere. All right, so our YG drills appear to be like little jelly drills. So we've got this kind of white jelly. We've got a pink jelly, a purple, a pale blue, like a turquoise blue, a dark bright blue, and then a bright green. So where do these go? So this white one here goes in all of the little butterflies. I don't know if these are glow in the dark. I'll check that out. But they look like jelly ones. They could be glow in the dark. I'll check it out before I go. So pink, and this one, also goes in the butterflies. I wonder if they all go in the butterflies. So yes, this one goes in this butterfly here. This one goes in a bunch of the butterflies, this lighter blue. This one is again in all the butterflies. This dark one here is the outline of all the butterflies. And then we have these bright green, which are also in the butterflies. So let me check those out. I'm gonna leave them out and kind of let them absorb some of the light and then I'll check to see if they glow in the dark and I'll report back. In the meantime, let's look at our ABs. We've got four ABs. So we've got a very, very dark purple, a blue, a pink, 
and a white. So the white AB is down here in kind of the bib and collar of her shirt, as well as being in her hair. The pink AB is also in her hair and her shirt and the shirt collar. Some here on her hand as well and some up here by her eyes. Then our blue AB is part of her clothing. So down here, the bow, her sleeves, her dress, and then also here in her hat. A lot of the dark in her hat is that color. And then our very dark purple is the middle of the cat's eye here on the front of the book and then kind of all over down here in the book. Some on her fingers as well and also up here on her face. So four ABs and then seven jelly slash glow in the dark plus the 45 other colors for a total of 56 colors. I'm actually really looking forward to this one now that I've seen it. It is gonna be quite a bit multi-placing at the edges where the background is, but that's counterbalanced by the nice mix of confetti here in the middle where the figure is and all of the butterflies. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So my husband now thinks I'm crazy because I took these into the closet to shut the door because it's the one place I know that I can block out all the light. They are glow in the dark. Uh, I think this one probably absorbed the most light. It was the one glowing the, the brightest, but the, all the other ones had a faint glow about them as well. So that'll be really interesting to see once the kit is finished that all of the butterflies are kind of glow in the dark. So I'm super excited about that. These two kits, this one and the other one I haven't unboxed yet, will be available on their website on January 6th, 2024. They, I'm not sure what time they'll be listed, but they should be available on that day. They are listing 66 new kits. Bella Art is the one you've seen me unbox my Harajuku. So if this is what some of the art looks like, I'm super excited to see what else is gonna go up and maybe place an order as well as let's unbox the other one and see what else I got. So let me put this all the way and I'll be right back with the next one. Don't go anywhere. All right, so here's the second one, slightly smaller box, so it's probably a slightly smaller kit. So let me get it out of the box and let's look and see what we've got. Again, they include their Bella tray, the basic one with all of their stuff. So let me unroll this one and let's see what this one is. All right, so we've got our stickers. I'm gonna set those aside. We've got our drills. You can see this is a square kit as well. And then we've got our toolkits. Let's see what's in our toolkit. So same basics as last time. We've got our tweezers, we've got our wax, we've got our scrunchie, we've got ooh, some bubble, black and white bubble washi this time. We've got our diamond painting pen with a three placer attached, and then we've got additional six and nine placer. So that's the tool kit. Then we have our stickers and we have this gorgeous girl. So this is called Moon Earring from Lee Yan. And it's just this lovely portrait of this girl with her little moon earring. I'm always curious to do portraits to see how well skin tones get rendered. So we'll see how this one goes. But I love all the kind of starlight in her hair. And then this kind of yellowish background wash. It'll be interesting to see. Again, I'll, it should be a nice mix of confetti, her hair, and all of this here with some color blocking for the background, her skin, all of that. So this one is a little bit smaller. It is 50 by 50. It is square drill again, but we have less colors, which makes sense. This is a less detailed painting. So 38 colors here, and it looks like we have five ABs in this one. No special glow drills, but that's okay really curious to see how her eyes are going to turn out for this one. Okay, so 38 colors, 5 ABs, pre-cut stickers. Let me grab the canvas. All right, so here we go. Nicely rendered. This looks just like any other premium diamond painting company. You've got your surged edges, the soft lint canvas, schematics on both sides, all of their socials and media information. Down here at the bottom, we've got the thumbnail with the name of the artist and all of that. Yeah, just looks really good. All right, so 38 colors, like I said, and just kind of looking at this, all the symbols are nice and clear. I'll get some B-roll as well so that you guys can kind of see the canvas close up and see what I'm talking about, but it looks nice and clear, easy to read. 
There is some nice color blocking in the yellow background up here. There's a little bit of confetti, more color blocking, some color blocking in her face. Actually, her hair is not as confetti heavy as I thought it would be, so that will be nice. If you like color blocking, this is, would be a good kit. All right, so it says 50 by 50. Let's measure. So it is a little over 49 and a half by, again, a little over 49 and a half. So a little less than 50 by 50, but not by much. This is, as are all of their kits, this is a poured glue canvas. And again, we've got our schematic on both sides with this one upside down. So if you turn your kit and they hand render all of their designs. So yeah, just looking at these, this is really nicely done. All right, so now that we've looked at the canvas, let me grab the drills. You guys, I'm always so excited when I unbox all of these to see what they are and I wanna start on them immediately. It's like, oh, let's just get this up and get going, but I have so many other things <laughs> to do first. If I had space to hang all of the whips that I wanted to be working on, I'd probably have 50 whips going at a time. It's just easier to store them in boxes. They take up a little less space that way, I think. Plus then I don't have the drills separated because knowing me, I would lose them. Anyway, all right, let's look at our drills and see what we've got here. So we've got a kind of blush pink. We've got a very dark purple. We've got a red. Wow, that's all the black in this kit. That's not much at all. And then we've got a dark red, a bright red, a salmon, a brick red, a dark purple, kind of an off white. And then we've got a big bag of orange. I'm sure that's for her hair. And then we've got two big bags of this kind of bright yellow, which I'm sure is the background. And then we've got another brick red, a dark blue, a brighter blue, a dark red, a slightly less dark red. We've got two bags of a bright blue. We've got a dark blue, kind of a, a darker salmon, a dark mulberry, kind of a dark butterscotch color. And then we have another orange, kind of a gray color, and then we've got three bags of 939, which I'm sure is kind of the night sky slash her hair. And then we've got, let me move the ABs out of the way. We've got an orange, a slightly lighter orange, another butterscotch, a kind of a dusky rose pink, a brown, a light tan, a dark purple, and another kind of dark orange. So those are the regular colors. And then we have five ABs. So let me get these put away and then we'll look at the ABs and see where they go on the canvas. Be right back. All right, so we've got five ABs here, three reds, four reds, and a yellow. So this yellow AB is the moon here. So that's what this one is. And then this kind of Christmas red AB this particular red is kind of the highlight of her hair up here. Then we've got the true Christmas red, which is her the top of her hair right here, as well as this red. So all of this section basically up here on her hair is going to be ABs. This whole red section, when it kind of fades into the purples, it will not be ABs. And then we've also got kind of ABs outlining her nose, her lips, some down here in her neck area. So yeah, lots of red ABs. Looks to be mostly concentrated up there. I might add a few and just add some bling down here to make the night sky pop a little bit. Not all over the place, but just a few here and there. So that's all the drills. That's this canvas. Again, I'll take some B-roll so that you guys can have been watching some of close-ups of the canvas. Let me get these drills put away and then let's go look at all the small stuff they sent us in that little surprise haul. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we've got all of these lovely little items. So I'm just gonna start unwrapping and we'll see what they are. This one looks like maybe it's a cover minder. It's got a magnet on it. You guys, how cute is that? It's a little open book cover minder. 
that will go perfectly with my little witch and magic book kit and I am a voracious reader so that's super cute love that all right so there's that what is in here what's a little poured resin teddy bear how cute just a little resin teddy bear you could turn that into a cover minder with no issue if you wanted to so we've got a book and a teddy bear I'm gonna go in order of size so we'll see this one next oh this is why does it have a magnet I guess so you don't lose it but this is one of their little multi-placing tools so you can put different tips in each of these now I've tried these from a budget company and I've been told that Bella's are way better because they're not as big so they're easier to handle so I'll have to give it a try you guys if I can find links to all of these things I will stick them down below the kits I won't be able to link directly to because they're not listed yet, but I'll link to the Bella Diamonds website. But these you'll find on their Bella Art Dana Cole website. It is, oh, and it's a gridded tray. So this is the kind of spout that I like. I just prefer this one to the ones that they sell now where it has it on the end. They just work better for me. But this has the grids in it so that you can separate your drills for when you're single placing. If you're someone who likes to single place, these grids are great for that. So that's super cute. Then this last one, let's see what this is. They always include a butterfly since that's their symbol. And then we've got this book. You guys, look how cute that is. It's a, just another little tray with a little funnel here, but it's got these little grooves. So you can just slide it into here. So it looks like a little book, but it's like a little tray. A little hidden tray how adorable is that okay so like I said if I can find links to all of these I will try to stick them down below I love this little book cover minder the tray is awesome the tool the book tray okay oh and they didn't send this but I wanted to show you this this is the little funnel for the bottle container so if you have bottle cases you just slip the bottle in here and then you can pour your drills in through the funnel to fill up your bottle. If you're switching over from baggies to bottles, it makes it so easy. I haven't had a chance to work it out, but I can't believe how nice and smooth it is. And it's really a lot sturdier than I would have thought. So super excited about that one. That's all of the little small items haul. Let me go grab the canvases and I'll kind of recap everything. Don't go anywhere. So just to recap, we've got our Witch and Magic Book Kit, Sneak Peek. I can't wait to see how this one is gonna work up, especially with all the ABs and kind of the glow in the, the glow in the dark drills with the butterflies. I can't wait to see how that's gonna turn out. Then we've got our moon earring, the girl with the moon earring and this sneak peek. Again, this one has five ABs as well. And then we've got all of our little cool trays and everything that they make over at Bella Art Day Nicole. Like I said, I really love this cute little open book cover minder. I think that's really cute. Curious to try out the tool. I love this kind of hidden book tray. I think that's very cute. And the gridded tray for those of you who like to single place. And then of course, not included in their little haul, but I bought this little bottle case funnel so that I could kit up my bottle containers pretty easily. So I'm super excited about these. As I said, I will stick a link to the website, the Bella Art Diamonds website for both the kits. These won't be available until January 6th, but go check them out. I believe they still have some kits available until they list all their new ones. You might find something there that you like. They still have, I last I checked, they still have Harajuku, which is the one that I'm gonna be working on for my first January kit, so you'll be seeing that soon. And then if I can find links to these, I will put them in there. If not, I will just link to Bella Art Dana Cole, because that's where they sell all of their trays and everything. All right, I think that's everything. A huge thank you to Bella Art for sending all of these to me, and I'm super excited. So guys, go check them out. They have some really amazing stuff, and I'm excited not only to get started on the sneak peeks, but also to start on my Harajuku. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.